Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Welcome to our Miami office. Come on in, I wanna show you what we're recording here for you today. If you're in Miami, Florida, you wanna come train with Juan and Joe, the j, j team, come visit us here on 36th Street, Miami. We look forward to training with you here. We're in here, we're hard at work. I wanna to talk to you today. We've got some energy management going on. Energy management, you know the good old three to one rule that's right for every one mile that you travel this way, you gotta travel 300 feet down this way. All that good stuff, how to use a speed brake. When is it appropriate to use a speed brake, right? So these concepts tend to get a little intricate when we introduce the complex operational environment where we have the air traffic controllers giving us speed restrictions, altitude restrictions, and we've got, well, traffic. In a simulator, it's only us training, but in real world, we've got traffic everywhere. I'm gonna talk in depth about that. We're recording this since an energy management course in excess of two hours, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in that course. I'm gonna start my descent from one step way up here. I'm just gonna set 280 from the top all the way down and I 100% now will arrive at this point right on speed. So once we hit prep 280 and 23,000, now the aircraft has to descend and cross energy at an altitude of, we said, 12,000. Let's say that we have a speed restriction here also of 250 knots. Well, remember the basic math that we saw a little bit earlier in this course, not only do we now need to figure out how much altitude we need to lose, but we will also need to figure out how much additional space is needed in order to shed 30 knots from 280 to 250 knots. Yep. Yeah. 